Yo, what's good? It's your boy 24K Golden, and this is what's on my phone. Let's give this little bad baby a spin. Uh, what are we gonna do first? Messages. Okay, so this one I'm negotiating with my friend. She said, bro, I will actually do your laundry if you pay me. I'm so serious. I said, yes, please. Can you do it today? My blanket is starting to get a little funky, you know. I'm on the road, there's no time to clean. She said she'll do the room cleaning and the laundry for $70. I think I gotta do it. You can't go wrong with that. No, it's a great deal. Great bargain. Shout out, Cindy. On to the next one. Internet search. Okay, I think this one actually has to do with cleaning too. Yeah, I was just on this website, dorm mom. You know, you're all home, alone, college, no mom there to tuck you into bed at night, to give you some chicken soup when you're feeling sick. So I'm looking for a little door mom. She'll be replaced with a sugar mama sometime in the future who could just do all of the above, cleaning, love, take me shopping and shit. Yeah, holla at me. <laughs> all right, what's next? My notes. All right, let's see what's in the notes. So this is like all my like random ass ideas that I have, I just write it down. Let's take a look at some. A social network for old people and they'll just connect different people at retirement homes. A sorority style luxury mansion was a porn house. <laughs> nice. So I think my idea for that one was to create like an agency, but like for hot girls, it's a vibe. Live in chef, the dorm rooms, bunks. So it'd be like living at a sorority, except you get paid instead of them paying you. A toothbrush that plays Valentino while you brush your teeth. Like one of those little like tooth tunes type things. I was in Walgreens, I was like seven years old, and I seen they had like all the different artists. They had like Kiss. They had Hannah Montana. I think they even had like a rapper, like a T-Pain Tooth Tunes. Yo, if you steal any of these ideas and you watching out there, I need my check. I'm coming with the lawsuit, all right? This is intellectual property right here. Beyblade, let it rip. Deleted photos. Ugh, we probably got some shit in here. Oh, here's a funny ass TikTok thing. Nah, 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 shit. Yeah, so you know, the fans out there, I get some wild ass DMs. This was probably like the favorite, my favorite video anyone has ever sent to me just cause it was like mad funny. <laughs> Sneakerhead days, got the South Beach LeBrons, do the right thing threes, the wheat 13s, anniversary 11s, raging bull fives, C crystal SBs, We've been doing the SBs, all right, Travis? We've been doing the SBs. Back when my Instagram name was ASVP Golden. We was going crazy back then. Oh, I remember when I made this one for Ballin' Like Sharif. Ballin' Like Sharif, video debut. This Friday, 5 p.m. Watch that sh <laughs> Watch that sh <laughs> This is the first time I went to Rolling Loud. It was Rolling Loud Bay Area, it's like the first year they did it. I remember telling all my boys, like, yo, next year I'm gonna be performing at Rolling Loud. The year after, it was December, right at like crunch time to, to make it happen, but I ended up performing at Rolling Loud LA. So that was like an incredible experience. BTS, okay, yeah. So I got some stuff from the uh, Valentino shoot. Shout out Edgar Estevez, you killed the video. Uh, we just going through my videos right now. Hope there's nothing too scandalous there. So this is how we got that effect. With like the fake heart cut out. This was my favorite scene there right here. The mosh pit scene. It just came out so well on camera. <laughs> this was such a dope day. That was like my first like ever real official music video with a budget that was more than like 300 bucks, you know, so that was just kind of crazy to see that whole experience and like how professional everything was. The Instagram, should we take them to the archive? This is that vintage 24K golden right here. Let's go back all the way. This is when I was Drake for Halloween in the ninth grade. Look at these eyebrows right here. Back when I had the big afro chilling. It's even longer now though. Like, ugh. Just imagine all this puffed out everywhere. Man, throwback. And then here's when I was Drake in the eighth grade. Had to reuse that costume, you know, from middle school to high school. Nobody came with me, so I got to bust that costume two years in a row. Classic. Look at these eyebrows again, ladies and gentlemen. Unbeatable. Uh, 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 uh. 
Voice memos. This is one when we were in Denver. I just got off tour with Landon Cube. Shout out Landon on the Orange Tour. He brought me. Thank you very much. Our whole Airbnb was snowed in. We were just like, nah, we're not going outside today. It's not that type of day. I'm going outside today. In the words of NBA Youngboy. And there was no recording setup, so I just had to record it off my voice memo. But we're probably gonna make this into a song soon. Bottom of the barrel, no Gucci sweater, trying to bring me down, I won't love her, let him she won't kiss and tell, I want new Chanel, told her make a wish, got to do it so well, bottom of the barrel, no Gucci sweater, bring me down, I won't love her, let him, she won't kiss and tell, I want new Chanel, told her make a wish, got to do it so well. Be on the lookout, coming soon, bottom of the barrel, new Gucci sweater. I think that's it, yeah? Alright.